Hello and welcome back to another video, today we will be going over 10 fascinating facts on ancient Roman soldiers. But before we start make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. And without further ado let's jump right into it. Number 1. Training and Discipline Roman soldiers underwent intensive training that emphasized endurance, strength, and combat skills. Training routines included marching long distances, up to 20 miles a day, with full gear, weapons practice with swords and javelins, and constructing fortifications. The discipline was severe to maintain order and efficiency. Soldiers faced harsh punishments for infractions, ranging from flogging for minor offenses to execution for serious crimes such as desertion or mutiny. This rigorous regimen ensured that Roman soldiers were among the most well prepared and formidable in the ancient world. Number 2. Standardized Equipment Each Roman soldier was equipped with standardized gear designed for versatility and effectiveness in combat. The gladius, a short sword, was ideal for close-quarter fighting. The pilum, a heavy javelin, was designed to penetrate enemy shields and armor. The scutum, a large rectangular shield, provided substantial protection and could be used offensively. The larica segmentata, a type of segmented armor, offered flexibility and protection. This standardization ensured that all soldiers had reliable, high-quality equipment, enabling them to fight as a cohesive unit. Number 3. Legion Structure The Roman Legion was a highly organized military unit typically consisting of about 4,800 soldiers. Each legion was divided into ten cohorts, and each cohort was further divided into six centuries. A century, led by a centurion, comprised roughly 80 men. Centurions were experienced veterans responsible for discipline and training within their centuries. This hierarchical structure allowed for efficient command and control, with orders being relayed quickly from the top down, and ensured that the legion could function effectively on and off the battlefield. Number 4. Ingenious Engineering Roman soldiers were not only warriors but also skilled engineers. During campaigns, they constructed fortified camps, castra, every night, complete with defensive walls and ditches. These temporary camps were laid out in a standard grid pattern, providing security and organization. Soldiers also built roads, bridges, aqueducts, and permanent fortifications, showcasing their engineering prowess. This ability to build and fortify quickly was a strategic advantage, allowing the Roman army to maintain supply lines and secure territories efficiently. Number 5. Medical Care The Roman military had a sophisticated medical system for its time. Each legion had field hospitals, valeted in area, staffed by medics, medici, who were trained to perform surgeries, treat wounds, and manage diseases. These hospitals were equipped with medical tools such as scalpels, forceps, and catheters. Roman medics practiced advanced techniques like cauterization and the use of antiseptics, which significantly improved the survival and recovery rates of injured soldiers, enhancing the overall effectiveness of the military. Number 6. Diet and Rations The diet of a Roman soldier was designed to provide the necessary nutrition for sustained physical activity. Rations typically included bread, porridge made from grains, and legumes, providing carbohydrates and fiber. Soldiers also received meat, cheese, and vegetables when available, ensuring a balanced diet. Pasca, a mixture of water and vinegar, was a common drink believed to prevent dehydration and kill bacteria. This diet was supplemented by any available local foods during campaigns demonstrating the army's adaptability in different environments. Number 7. Retirement Benefits After 25 years of service, Roman soldiers were eligible for retirement benefits that included a pension, a lump sum of money, and often land grants. These rewards were intended to secure their loyalty and compensate for their long service. Veterans were settled in colonies. Colony, across the empire, where they could farm the land and contribute to the local economy. This policy helped spread Roman culture and influence, as retired soldiers brought Roman customs and practices to newly conquered territories, aiding in the process of Romanization. 
Number 8. Adaptability in Battle Roman soldiers were trained to be highly adaptable, able to fight effectively in various formations and terrains. One of their famous formations was the testudo, tortoise, where soldiers aligned their shields to form a protective barrier against arrows and projectiles. This adaptability extended to their ability to fight in open fields, forests, and urban environments. Their training emphasized flexibility and quick response to changing battle conditions, which often gave them a strategic advantage over less adaptable enemies. Number 9. Symbolic Standards Each Roman legion had a standard, signum, that was carried into battle, often an eagle, aquila, for legions or other symbols for smaller units. The standard was more than a rallying point, it was a symbol of the legion's honor and pride. The soldier who carried the standard, known as the Aquilifer, held a prestigious and dangerous position. Losing a standard in battle was considered a great dishonor, and soldiers would go to great lengths to protect it. The standards fostered a sense of unity and identity within the legion. Number 10. Cultural Integration The Roman army was diverse, comprising soldiers from various regions of the empire. Non-citizen troops known as auxiliaries, served alongside Roman citizens and could earn Roman citizenship through their service. This policy encouraged loyalty and integration of different cultures within the army. Auxiliary units often brought unique skills and knowledge, such as specialized combat techniques or local geographic expertise, which enriched the Roman military's capabilities. This cultural integration helped maintain the cohesion and effectiveness of the Roman army across its vast and diverse empire. And that's it for today. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so that you're notified when we next upload. See you next time.